Good morning boys and girls. Today we are going to be talking about finding equations using a number line. We're going to find multiplication equations and we are going to find the division equations. But first let's remind ourselves how to use number lines with multiplication and division. So first let's review 3 times 5 equals blank. Now with multiplication we know that 3 would be our hops and 5 would be what we are skip counting by on our number line. Let's go ahead and make it. A little soft, but bear with me. So we know that zero always goes on the bottom, on the very end of our number line at the beginning, because we always start with zero. We're skip counting by five. So zero, five, ten, fifteen. And I know that I need three hops. So let's do one, two, three. Now remember, we draw our hops going forward because the number becomes greater when we multiply. So when we're skip counting by fives and we have three hops, one, two, three, our product is 15. So three times five is 15. Now if we're going to divide using a number line, let's change our color. We're going to divide 15 divided by five equals blank. Now remember when we divide with a number line, again we're going to skip count by fives, and we're going to go until we reach the number 15. And draw our number line. Again, always start with zero. Skip count by fives until we get to 15. So zero, five, ten, and fifteen. Now, we're going to count our hops backwards in order to find our answer. One, two, and three. Now remember, we do our hops backwards when we divide because the number is becoming smaller as we go backwards. Now, we have one, two, three hops because when we divided 15 by five, we got three three sets of five. So one, two, three. So three times five is fifteen, and fifteen divided by five is three. Now you'll notice that these are related facts for each other. So when you find the equation from a number line, remember that you're going to be looking for some related facts. So let's go on to find equations from a number line. Our first example is this number line right here. So let's find our multiplication fact first. Now we see that we have one, two, three, four, five hops, and we're skip counting. Let's see, here's zero, on the four, eight, twelve, sixteen, and twenty. So we have four, zero, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So we see that we're skip counting by fours. And our product at the very end, what we ended on, was 20. 5 times 4 is 20. Now if we needed to find a division equation from this problem, we would start with the number that we are dividing by. So 20 divided by what we are skip counting by. So we are skip counting by 4s was the number of hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we see our division problem is 20 divided by 4 is 5 times. Because when you do 20 and you separate it by 4, you do it 4 times. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Let's try this next one together. Our multiplication fact we see here, we are skip counting by 4s. Let's see how many hops we have. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We skip counted 9 times, so 9 times 4 equals our product, 36. Now, with our division problem, our arrows would have to be going backwards. So if we we're trying to find a division problem from this, we could see that it's 36.
divided by 4, which is what we're skip counting by, equals 9, which is our amount of hops. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. And that is how you find an equation with an underline.